This video talks a little bit about this handout about linear regression and correlation. <clears throat> it's a worksheet. It has some problems that you'll want to work on. We'll use a piece of software called R. It's an open source software. <clears throat> you can get access to it quite easily. Uh, that's the script that we're going to be building in just a second. Uh, you can find R by doing a search for R online compiler and you can find a number of places that you can just run a free copy of it. We're running this one right here uh, in our presentation today. So let's get started. We're going to be interested in having this data in R. So first of all we want to take that T value, those T values we're going to put them together in something that R calls a vector. So we want to have 0 and 1. Now notice we didn't have data for every one of the years so that uh, the years since 1989, of course 1989 is 0, but the year 2000 is 11 years after 1989. So we have uh, the 0 year, the 1 year after that, 3 years after that, 5, 7, and 11. Now what we'd like to, to do is if we execute that code, then R just shows you what those vectors are, okay? What those numbers, those values in that vector are. What we'd like to do is have those values available to us whenever we want them. So we're going to store them into an object called T in R that is done in the following way. We name the object T a less than followed immediately by a minus sign, looks like an arrow. And then we have this vector that we built with the concatenate function. And so it's going to take those values and store them into T. Now if I execute that, I don't see anything happen over here. Something happened in the background. It took those values and stored them into T. What we can do is ask R to show us what T is or use t at any time that we want to in our calculations. See, there the values are. So we'll want to do that same thing for the c values, the average costs for tuition and fees at each of those universities. Okay, those two lines will produce an object t and an object c containing the years since 1989 and the average cost for tuition and fees in each of those years respectively. So now we've got those two objects that are available. We'd like to see how they are related to each other. Let's do a plot of T on the x-axis and C on the y-axis. When we execute that, then R produces this plot. So 0, 10,350, there's 0, and 10,350 on the y-axis. There's 1 and 11,380. There's 1 and 11,380 on the y-axis, and so on for the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 points that we've got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And it does kind of look like, like they're, they could be approximated by a straight line. That's what we want to do here, is find the best fitting line to that data. That's called a regression line. And R has a function that will do that. It's called LM for linear model. We want to have a linear model that predicts what the C value is from the values of T. So C predicted by, that's a tilde, that's in the upper left-hand corner of your keyboard, of, uh, of T. When we execute that, we, of course, we ask it to plot, so there's the plot, and there's the information about that linear model, the output from this linear model. It's going to tell us coefficients. It's going to tell us the coefficient for the intercept, that is the y-intercept of the straight line, and it's going to tell us the, the coefficient on x, that's the slope of the line. So I've added a comment here in our script, uh, whenever in the script, whenever R sees a pound sign, it just counts this as a comment, so it doesn't do anything with it. So there's the equation of our regression line. The y value, which we're using C for that, is equal to the slope times x, mx plus b. The t is playing the role of x here, and so there's the equation of the line. Now it'd be nice to graph that line, and R has a command that does that for us.
the command is AB line will add this uh, linear model to that if we just do AB line of the linear model. So here I'm going to ask R to look at the AB line of the linear model and when we execute that script then it builds the plot, it puts that linear model in there. Here I've left up the information for calculating what the linear model is and what that the equation of that line is right there. We gave it to you. Now there's one more thing that we'd like to look at and that's something that gives a measure of how closely this data fits to the line. That's called the correlation coefficient and R can calculate that for you. The correlation co coefficient of T and C is, let's execute that, we'll see all the pieces here. There's our graph, there's a AB line, there's the linear model that we asked for, and there's the correlation uh, coefficient of those two. It's about a 92 percent, 0.92. That's pretty high correlation. You'll want to read the details of the handout to understand more of the details here and what the meanings are. Uh, and then of the second page of the handout are some exercises that you that you will be asked to do to hand in in class. Okay, good luck.